and these are in listen only mode. Welcome everyone. Today our webinar is on digital decoration for the future. Logo anything, no problem. Thank you for attending today. Um, I am your presenter. My name is Mary Blondell. I've been in the um, apparel decorating business for over 18 years. Um, I have technical expertise in this decoration, um, garment decoration, and also was a previous business owner. I have experience with heat printing, embroidery, screen printing, digital print cut technology, DTG sublimation, and also promotional product as a distributor. Um, I am the manager of Stalls ID promotional products. Jody will be our facilitator today. If you guys, if anyone has any questions during the webinar, please type them in and we will answer them as we go through um, the presentation. But please don't hesitate to ask any questions. And again, welcome to today's webinar. Here's what you'll learn today. Um, digital decoration is the way of the future. Um, a lot of things are constantly changing and decoration is one of them. We're going to give you an overview on decorating techniques and methods, heat press essentials, economical ways to decorate powerful presentation samples, how to incorporate variable data, personalization, and sequential numbering for short and large run orders with a fast turnaround. We're going to um, show you ways to increase add-on sales with digital logos for apparel and non-apparel, and also trends and creative ideas for every promotional consultant, um, any type of decorator. Um, we are going to go on, go into right now, um, Jody's going to go into poll questions just to get an idea of our audience and what you're currently offering and doing. So Jody, if you want to go ahead with those poll questions, I would appreciate it. Absolutely. And thanks everyone for joining today. Our first poll question is, what equipment do you own? Screen printer, embroidery, direct to garment, or a heat press, or you can select all that apply. And I'm going to excuse me, close the poll right now. Oh, what just happened? Okay, let me show the results. There we go. Sorry about that. Here's your results, Mary. Looks like everybody in our webinar today owns the heat press. And our second poll question. is, you know what, Mary, that one's not pulling out. Um, we may just have to skip that one. No problem. I'm sorry, it's not pulling out for some reason. I do apologize. Okay, so let me close the poll here. Jody, if you're having any difficulties, we can just move on with the presentation and skip the poll. Okay.
We are currently having technical difficulties with the poll question, so we're going to go ahead with the presentation. I'm sorry about that. The first decorating method we're going to go over is embroidery. Embroidery has been around for quite a few years. It's classically known as the premier decorating option. Um, with the stitch count and the heavy thread count, it really gives a, um, an increased perceived value. People think that it's a real high class um, way of decorating. With embroidery, it's easy to personalize because um, you don't have to digitize people's names. You can just use a keyboard and key in their names. Um, you have an unlimited color palette selection. You're not charged per color. You're charged per stitches, which most of you, I'm sure, are aware of. Um, so depending on how many stitches you have is your fee. Obviously, embroidery requires digitizing which most people, not all embroiderers digitize, um, but if you do, it's a little bit difficult and cumbersome and the software to digitize is expensive. More and more times do you find online offerings of inexpensive digitizing. Um, the prices of digitizing has came down hugely over the last five years. At one time it would cost you about $125 to have, say, a 5,000 to 10,000 stitch embroidery job digitized. Today, you're getting it much cheaper, sometimes as low as $25. So as we continue to use the, the internet and share um, artwork that way and uh, give us the ability to do business with anyone all over the world, um, embroidery charges or digitizing charges have came down quite a bit. And you would get emailed to you the digitizing that you can send on to your embroiderer. It's just a, a digitizing file that's easily email to an embroiderer so that they can do the embroidery right there for you. Um, it's not ideal for performance fabrics because performance fabrics are usually pretty thin, have the wickening in them, and you, you always have the backing of the embroidery, which is sometimes heavy and rough. Um, so it, it's kind of heavy on that fabric. It works out great on sweatshirts and jackets. Um, sometimes it's just embroidery is difficult and it's just bulky. And it's difficult to read small letters and wording in embroidery. It's, embroidery looks best if it's a little larger, um, where you don't have to achieve fine detail. Embroidery is not the best solution for fine detail. I've provided some samples down below just to give you guys a great idea of what I'm talking about, how embroidery has changed. Um, right down here, this Nashville t-shirt is embroidered, and what they've used here is a rainbow thread to give it that effect of the different colors. So Nashville has the rainbow, rainbow thread that gives it quite a different effect and look and appearance. It's very sharp. Next to that, I have um, buck knives. This is very effective as well on this green shirt. What they're using is like a metallic thread to go around from the red to kind of give it new enhancements and a new, a new look about it. You know, no longer is it just the left chest or for a cap, but you can do a full front and, and put it on a, a heavyweight t-shirt and it turns out really nice. Um, fabulous is also what you could have your embroiderer do for you. This is called Distress Applique. You see it a lot in the retail stores these days. It's very popular amongst um, teenagers in college. But what we have here is a two-color distress applique, and there's different variations of the distress. But you do need an embroiderer because it does have a stitch down all the way around it and stitching the purple to the white as well. So this does require sewing, and digitizers can do this very easily with a sew disc. And um, what I have over here, too, is just a little bit more of the mixed media. You'll see more and more. The butterflies and stars are all like an embroidered applique. And then I have a 16 in the distress twill. So it's as we move into the future in digital decorating, you're going to see more of the mixed medias together, the different color threads to, to give it a different effect so that it's not just um, standard threads anymore, but we're mixing in distress applique along with um, embroidery as well to really give the garment a rich look to it. So as we continue into the future, we see more and more trends of using new different color threads and new ideas as well. 
Our next decorating method is your traditional screen printing. Um, screen printing has been around forever. It is best worked with spot color artwork, which is one, two, or three color. Um, to get your biggest bang out of your buck for screen printing, a medium to large run is going to be the most cost effective way to do, to do the jobs. Um, and that your prices become lower as your runs become larger. Screen printing is very durable. It has a soft hand, and the colors are very op opaque. You can put them on lighter dark colors. Um, on dark colors, sometimes it's recommended to have a flash base, which is an additional charge, where they actually put a white silhouette of the image in the background so that when they print the colors on top, they're very vibrant and very colorful. But your hand becomes a little bit heavier because now you have two colors you know, on top of each other. With screen printing, there's always a set of charges for screens, and it's based on per color. So the more colors you have, the more, you know, screen setup charges you have. And the prices on screen charges vary from screen printer to screen printer. Um, sometimes you can pay as low as $12 per screen, and I've seen them as high as $35 per screen. Depends on your screen printer, uh, the quality of screens they're putting out, um, sometimes on the internet, I must say, you get email blasts or e-coms that where they price the screen printing and absorbed all the setup charges and kind of waive them, but your price per unit is a little bit higher. It is very difficult to do personalization, variable data, or sequential numbering in screen printing because you just don't have the capabilities or the abilities to um, easily change the data without making a new screen. You'd have to make a new screen each time for everyone. So that you find you find is made to be through a heat application that your screen printer will add that. But some of the more newer techniques this is is um, shown right here. I have a black shirt with a red, you know, design in the background. And what they've done with John Carter is that they've used foil on top of the screen printing to give it a different effect. Um, so in order to use the foil, though, on top of the screen printing, you are required to use a heat press, which is great that you all have heat presses. So it's kind of a combination. Um, what I'm displaying on this blue shirt um, front and back is a full wrap, a full wrap around. You know, you can put different colors in multiple positions, and it wraps all the way around a large area. It kind of gives you an impression of a 360-degree design. You see that more and more popular. You're even seeing that in some of the department stores. Um, some screen printers specialize in it a little bit more than others, but it's very popular. Um, on this next sample of this sweatshirt, we're showing you some screen printing kind of over the seam where the design comes together. and and they recommend larger images when you go over a seam like this instead of fine lines. Um, it has a real good appearance. On the back of the sweatshirt, too, we have a full design. And they've even decorated the hood of the sweatshirt as well um, and showing you just different places people are putting decoration these days. They've also included an example here where they've actually screen printed on the hood as well as the back of the jacket, too. People are being more and more creative um, in adding things to screen printing. You can also embellish these items um, with rhinestones as well. Glow in the dark has become more popular in screen printing, too. Um, so they're doing sh you know, sh um, hoods, shoulders, just about anywhere you can imagine they're decorating with screen printing these days. And again, check with your screen printer if you're not doing it, what your prices would be if you offer these solutions to your customers or as they come in and request it. So screen printing is not just a front or back or left chest anymore. We're doing full wraps, front and backs, hoods, arms, shoulders, and um, hoodies as well. So the screen printing has really changed a lot too. Um, don't forget about screen printed transfers, too. It's another alternative to just having the garments decorate it for you. Uh, this will allow you, if you all own heat presses for screen printed transfers, you, you can increase your productivity because you don't have to deal with the screens, the inks. There's no mess. And you can keep um, transfers on hand for add-ons. If you have a, a company that you commonly do, 
you know, their logo, their message, and their shirts. You can keep these transfers stacked on a shelf, and you can put them on a red shirt or a white shirt or a black shirt, depending on what the customer needs. You can put it on a left chest and an apron as well. It doesn't even have to be on the same product. It's using the same um, transfer application and a shirt and an accessory. You could also do a cap as well. With screen printed transfers, you have a consistent quality. Um, your optimal ink coverage is there, so it's nice and opaque, and you have cr very crisp lines all the way around. This is one example right here of the Halloween um, lanterns. It's actually a glow-in-the-dark transfer. Um, I'm not able to show it in the dark, but you can kind of see the images that the more you put the glow-in-the-dark inks, the screen printed inks into the light, um, the better that they will um, reflect at night when the lights are off as well. So they glow much better after they've been exposed to light over a period of time. And that's moving into the future a little bit newer than it was before, um, having different options of glow in the dark and things like that. Again, transfers apply best to cotton, polyester, and Kali cotton blends, and you would need a heat press to um, heat apply them onto apparel caps and accessories. It's, a, it's great to be able to keep transfers on ha and hand and, and apply them as you need. Um, it's a great way to avoid any add-ons after you've already done the, the job. You don't want your customer coming back and asking for one or two more shirts and having to pay the screen charges to set up screens to do two more shirts or three more shirts. It becomes very costly because the screen charges are usually absorbed by the volume of shirts you print so that it kind of outweighs the price of just doing one or two. So that's something to keep in mind. And again, by having transfers in stock, you can mix it up a little. You can put it on a cap, you can put it on an apron, you can put it on a left chest. Um, just about anything your customer would want, even a tote bag. So transfers are still a very good, viable solution for decorating. And you can do you know, single color, multi colors, or any color with transfers as well. Um, dye sublimation. Dye sublimation's been around for forever. Um, it's, it's been on for a long time. It started over in Europe, and it's still quite popular for soccer and rugby uniforms. Sublimation is a process where a dye changes from a solid to a gas to permanently dye fabrics. Um, it gives you very high definition and super fine details. Again, with sublimation, because we're printing it out of a thermal printer, with a thermal head, with a thermal ribbon, um, there aren't any real setup charges because your printer's going to, or your computer's going to com plug right into your printer and you're going to output from there. You have a very specialized thermal ribbon, you know, that are usually somewhat expensive um, if you don't use the whole panel of the ribbon. It's a cyan, magenta, and um, yellow ribbon. So you get a full color just like we see with. Um, this uh, parrot right here. See all the different shades and the different gradients and full color. Um, dye sublimation only works best on 100% cotton, or excuse me, 100% polyester. So you'd have to find a 100% polyester to apply it on. If you do it on cotton, the dye sublimation kind of gets caught into the hollowness of the fiber and the colors aren't very vibrant. Um, right here you can see they had an image of P.B. Herman on screen and they're able to output it and do this whole shirt from top to bottom. It's got very, very vibrant colors, it's extremely colorful, um, and it matches, the, you know, the um, print pretty, pretty exact. Here's more of a promotional type shirt and it's just showing the huge variation of colors. The one color that dye sublimation does not print is white, so you see the t-shirts show through right here for the text or for this particular stripe or in the flames. Um, so this is a very decorative full color shirt. Um, here you see that we did the dye sublimation but the shirt was creased and where the shirt was creased the dye sublimation did not permanently dye so that you see white lines in this shirt where the creases are. Um, any crease in the fabric when heat applied will leave it white. The images are very permanent and there's no buildup of color um, when you heat apply with a press. You need to have heavy pressure when you heat apply because the sublimation activates and kind of explodes, it, explodes and leaves the dye permanently onto the polyester shirt. Um, 
it, you can print edge to edge, no problem. Some of the shirts you will see, you know, um, in the department stores and such, the actual dye sublimation was applied to the fabric before the shirt was even cut and sewn. So therefore, you would never see any, for the most part, any of this creasing in the white because it's full sheets of fabric that they're dyeing with dye sublimation and leaving a pattern, and then they're cutting and sewing them together. You know, it's becoming more and more popular. You guys see it more and more often. And normally, there'll be someone in your area that does offer dye sublimation. Again, if you get just the transfers, you have to, you know, keep them in room temperature and kind of protect them. And you could do double site dye sublimation in-house, um, otherwise they can do it for you, but it does require a heat press. direct -to garments more and more popular. Over the last 10 years, um, the technology has changed quite a bit. It's much more efficient and it prints much faster. You see more and more people offering direct -to garment um, It's kind of, it is off the inkjet technology, um, an Epson print head, and the special inks um, to to work with the direct to garment, you can get direct to garment on both light and dark textiles, and primarily the application works best on 100% cotton. If we go on to dark textiles, there is a pre-treating solution that must be um, sprayed onto the product um, that allows the colors when they're printed on the dark be more vibrant. Direct to garment allows you to have the largest print area with the lowest ink cost. There is no per color fees again because your computer is hooked right up into the direct to garment printer and the image is sent right over and print it directly onto that. As you can see down here I just have a demonstration of one direct to garment machine and your t-shirt kind of is folded underneath the platen. You can see the scoop of the neck right here and the platen will go back and forth through as the ink is laid down on the shirt. But you can see the full color demonstration it gets. Um, not always do you have a square box like demonstrated here. You can also, you know, go right out and have n no real edges on yours as it fades out and fades in. But look at the variation in the depth of the color and how, how opaque it is. You can put it on color t-shirts, as I mentioned, and they're even decorating some blue jeans as well. But primarily at this time, you can only do apparel. Um, I've seen a few DTG printers that go on to golf balls, but that is just not as popular as uh, the apparel and garments. Again, there's no per color fee, and most all um, artwork is acceptable because there is no color separation required. As long as you have good, clean artwork, um, your computer will send it to the DTG machine, and it will print it just as you see it on screen. So increase your productivity by offering DTG. Um, there's no screens, no inks, no mess to clean up. You get an optimal ink coverage with crisp lines every time. Um, when people when people offer DTG, there's a heat press involved as well there for curing some of the inks. So your heat press, you know, can be used for many different options, um, including DTG if you ever decide to to own a machine as well and offer it in house. You can do as low as one and make it very affordable on like screen printing or embroidery. You can do a full color shirt. Um, you do have to take proper care of your DTG machine to make sure the heads don't clog. It's very um, good, best suited to be used on a daily regular basis so you don't have any problems with your, with your it's actually a printer um, laying down the inks. Some people have um, printers that have cartridges, other ones have um, bags of ink that um, are supposed to um, reduce the clogging of the heads on the printer. So DTG has become more and more popular and continues to be more efficient, especially in doing low volumes. Another newer way to print is full color digital transfers. Um, as you can see here, I have a photo. It's a revolutionary print head technology where it prints right onto the paper. You can get super fine detail um, with high definition, no problem. Again, here, because it's driven by a computer, there are no per color fees. There's no setup charges for the most part. It's very easy to do photorealistic, um, and it's fast, clean, and efficient. This, too, is a great solution for smaller, large runs. 
Um, the minimums for ordering is very low as well, and it's a great solution for short runs. Um, if you have a customer that only needs less than a dozen, this is a great solution because there is no per color fee and no real like per screens per per screen charges or no digitizing either. Um, you would be able to use your heat press with this, and it heat applies in seconds. Um, so the dwell time is very short as well. In addition that we print on heat sensitive materials for different applications, this also does print on vinyl as well. Um, as you can see here on this truck, we have a vinyl graphic that matches the shirt, so you kind of carry the logo all the way through. Um, so you could do static clings, vinyl, wall graphics, um, stickers, a variety of items. You could be the one-stop solution for your customer. So as they come in for t-shirts, you can um, sell more to your existing customers by offering them um, stickers and decals and wall graphics as well and kind of get additional add-on business to help keep your customers and sell more to your existing customers. Um, the essential is the heat press, as you all own one. Time is very important, temperature and pressure. You have to have a good heat press so that you get even time, temperature and pressure every time. That is great for the application, and heat presses, again, will last you 20, 30 years. It's a, a minimal investment on a product that will be around for a long time to come. You know, everything just about that you heat press, heat press in seconds. It's not any length of time. And almost all screen printers, embroiderers, or any type of decorator owns a heat press. You know, they're very dependable. They work great and they will give you a great application every time. I'm going to continue on a, a little bit more about the digital decoration. We want you to logo to win every bid. We feel it's important that you show your customers items with logos on them. And we're going to step outside of just doing apparel and go on to some other items as well, bringing you into offering your customers more to be the one-step shop. We've got pad folios, checkbook covers, um, key rings with maybe a, a USB drive inside, um, a little golf ditty bag as well. I mean, how many of you are able to bring samples, decor, you know, sample products to your customers? And how many of them are branded with your customer's logo? Usually that's pretty few and far between. But being able to bring in decorated samples to your customer's place of business says a lot about you. You know what you're doing and you're, you're good at it and you can print their logo already and it looks good. They'd be very impressed that you care about their brand and earning their business. I think you can really wow them over by bringing their item decorated to them or even to take some of your existing customers to sell more to them. You know, show them their logo on some items or do a self-promotion for yourself and logo items with your promotion on it and give it to them free so they have your name in their hand every time. Here's just in addition to decorated samples. It kind of shows your professionalism throughout it. It showcases perhaps your customer's logo. There is no color limitations, and the colors are very brilliant. Um, there is no per color fee. There's no you know screen charges or digitizing charges involved with this. You can virtually go on to any fabric. You can go on to nylon umbrellas. You can go on to neoprene cases, iPad cases, envelopes. You can go on to um, nylon umbrellas, um, sandwich bags, excuse me, and also neoprene. Um, so there's, you know, not only are we going to do apparel now, but we're going to reach out and diversify our business a little bit more and go on to other items as well. If they're ordering t-shirts, they're probably ordering other items to go along with it as well. So why don't you be their one-stop shop? Um, this. Uh, Full color digital transfers they have the ability to stretch as well on a fabric and rebound really well. There's no other solution out there for stretching on fabric and rebounding. As we see more and more performance wear out there, people need to know that their, their logo is going to be able to stretch and rebound and look great time after time after time. It's economical, it's clean, um, it's been industrial wash test, and it's extremely durable. There are low minimums, short runs, and quick turnaround. So we want to be able to offer solutions to your customers no matter what their needs are. And with digital decoration in the future, you can do that. 
do say yes to any job. It's no problem with heat printing. If your customers you know, are looking for low volumes, can I order just five pieces? Yes, they can. You know, you don't want to turn them away. You want to take every order every time. So yes, you can order less than five pieces and not be hit with huge fees. You know, what if I need to fill in an order extra items or different sizes? Again, um, full color digital decoration will allow you to do that. It's easy to modify the size of your artwork, especially if it's in a vector file format. Um, to a two inch, a three inch, and a six inch. You can do a left chest, you know, the front of a cat, a sleeve, an umbrella, a neoprene koozie, all sorts of different items and, and by changing the size as well. Nylon jackets have always been a huge challenge for screen printers and embroiderers because of the slickness of the material, it kind of moves and registration gets difficult. With um, CAD prints or with full color digital logos, you can do nylon jackets easily and other nylon items as well. If your customer is interested in a reflective or a metallic logo, you can he easily heat apply that on as well. Just you know, have a design cut in a particular material, have it shipped to your shop, and then heat apply it in seconds. Can you do my logo in different sizes? Sure, you can get your logo in different sizes. All we need is a good vector file, and it can be easily manipulated to any size you need. Um, if you're doing a full back of a jacket, and then you need a smaller size to do the front of a cap, that's not a problem at all. All your artwork kind of will match throughout your jackets, your shirts, your caps. There won't be any differences that you had to have one thing decorated one way and another item decorated another way. People want the same look and feel on their logo every time. Um, again, I, I believe we talked about printing on performance wear. Screen printers and embroiderers have a very difficult time printing on these stretchy fabrics. Um, obviously, embroidery doesn't stretch at all, but screen printing sometimes cracks and peels after a while of being stretched so much. With digital decoration, the newer technology, you can get heat applied digital decoration that will stretch with the performance fabric and then rebound right back into shape. Even after 50 washings, it still looks beautiful. Can I provide banners, graphics, stickers with the same logo? Sure you can. That's a real easy add-on sale. With digital decorating solutions, not only can we print on to heat applied materials, but you can go on to banner material. You can do wall graphics and stickers. So that's kind of like a a one-step shop and giving your customer everything they need um, to promote their business, to promote their message, um, to keep awareness going. It's important. Uh, variable data with digital. Um, it's an ex excellent decoration, decorating technique for sequential numbering. It's great for participation events such as running, biking, skiing. You could even set up a tent and go out to these locations and offer your services in a heat apply right on site. It's a great way to make a lot of money in a short period of time. People tend to, you know, have cash on them, are willing to get, you know, the extra items that are offered. Maybe it's a tote bag. Um, a t-shirt, if it's for a good cause, people are willing to invest. And if they can get it right there on site with you applying it, that's even more exciting for them. It's a great cash and carry item. Any quantities needed, large or small, um, you can do it in seconds. As you can see, they all have different sequential numbering on the front of their shirts. Very easy application. You could even personalize on the back of their shirts as well. The turnaround is extremely fast, and it heat applies in seconds and extremely durable, too. So just more options for you to offer. Um, personalization, um, which has always been important to a lot of people, again, is very easy to do with heat printing. There's no set of charges, and it's easy to do one off. Um, as you can see here on this gentleman's shirt, we have our pattern number effects where you can easily pick different patterns to put in the numbers that makes it a little bit more unique and different than the next shirt. Um, Westport is a personalization with a pattern in it. Um, it's very, very beautiful, very nice technique. Again, no setup charges or screen charges or embroidery, but gives you a pattern or effect that makes it a little bit more robust. Um, here we have corporate gifts, which, you know, not always do we do huge quantities in those. We need a low minimum, but want to make something very special for some of our top customers. Here's an example of Sedona. 
Um, you can even have different Sedona type logos on the items. We have a neoprene wine cooler right here with Sedona, which is just a heat applied graphic, which you could easily do with your heat press. We have a leather card set with coasters. Um, again, this was under a heat press that Sedona was heat applied. And if you touch it by hand, you can't even feel the application on top. Sedona kind of fits right into the leather and has a very smooth hand to it. And then we did the coasters as well with a slightly different Sedona logo, just to make it a, a higher class, a greater look to it, a more distinguished look. Um, this is a personalization for Admiral Stahl, it's just an example, but you can personalize individual items without any, you know, large absorbent charges. People feel very special when they're given something very unique with the personalization on it that's meant just for them. Um, it gives a, a very special feeling and then you know it's yours because um, it's more personalized to your name. Here's another example um, of a, a cat cut name with a number. Um, and this, again, this is very personalized, specific to that person. Um, it's very unique and one of a kind. So this is a great way to personalize, you know, again, heat apply only in a few seconds, but offer that personalization and kind of diversify a little bit more than just the name on the back. Um, you can do company and logo, corporate logos as well. Here's some of the trends for heat press, heat print to impress. Um, you have a variety of decorating methods to choose from for the best results. So depending on what your customer wants, you know, you can look at embroidery, screen print, screen print transfers, um, dye sublimation, or direct to garment, or full color digital transfers. It gives you a lot of options depending on the quantity they need. Um, the number of colors, the artwork, there's a lot of things to take into consideration to provide your customer with the best possible product. Artwork exchange today is great because we all share it electronically. There is no more scanning in or faxing of artwork. Most of it is just shared by computer through email, just um, sharing files. It's an easy way to get your customer's artwork immediately, look at it, look what item they're looking at decorating and giving them the best option for it. And then when you go to decorate, if you send it out, if you keep it in house, great, but if you send it out too, you have a very easy way to share it is through e email and getting it to another company and having them logo if necessary. Companies are very focused on branding their logo and message for repeat exposure and visibility for years to come. Their logo and branding is very important. Therefore, when you you look at your um, decorating options, you have to remember which will suit the customer best for their goals in mind and getting their message out, their company out, or their name out, personalization. Most of our decorating methods today are eco-friendly and environmentally safe, which is key to our kids' future. And the internet provides us with easy artwork upload and faster turnaround times. So having the internet at our fingertips allows us to upload our artwork easily, be able to get email proofs back to us, send them on to our customers to have the proofs approved before we go ahead um, with their decorating just to make sure we understood everything they wanted and need it. So that is a key to our success is having the computers and the internet there for us. It's very easy to learn, it's very easy to use, and very easy to share. And it allows us to turn around jobs much faster. And decorated samples are finally affordable and realistic to accomplish for a client's presentation. You know, prior to some of the computer technologies and digital technologies we had today, it was very difficult to bring in a, a logoed item to our customer's presentation. But today we can do it quite simply and affordable. And it's a real great way to wow your customer that you took the time to care to get their logo on it on an item. Here are just a few creative ideas that you can decorate with digital logos. I'm going to allow you again to diversify your business a little bit. Not only are you going to offer apparel, caps, and maybe accessories, but you can add, add on some items as well. If they're looking for, you know, a collapsible chair, this is a great logo, a great way to heat apply. You just stick the top of your chair under your heat press with your digital logo. You know, and he apply it on for 5 to 20 seconds, depending on the application. Um, here we have a, um, a luggage tag with the Southwest logo on it. You can get pretty good and clear in detail 
and still be able to read the Southwest. This would be very difficult, if not impossible, to embroider or screen print. Um, California, here we go across the whole panel of the cab. We can even go over scenes. Here is a nylon umbrella. Um, you can easily you know, go over the large panel with their logo. You can do multiple panels. And again, no real setup charges. Um, this is a little you know, emergency travel um, kit, and it's easy to decorate too. This could have been screen printed as well, depending on your volume and what your customer is looking for. But it's a three color logo, white, blue, and red. And uh, the Automotive Cup, um, Comp Club wants their logo to be recognizable and last for years to come. So that it looks really nice and was heat applied again, just using a heat press. Here's a phone case with a shield on it, a backpack with a full color logo, a little leather messenger bag with a Harley Davidson logo on it um, that looks beautiful and again very soft to the hand. A pair of gloves, decorate it. A duffel bag, a um, drawstring backpack with a full color logo on it as well. I have a neoprene koozie with a full color logo, mouse pad, and a stadium cushion. Cushion. So it allows you to diversify your business, you know, do more decorating for your customers, and offer more than just apparel. Those are just a few ideas. The, the list is really endless, um, going on to Lycra and performance fabrics as well. Um, as long as you can apply heat to it for anywhere from 5 to 20 seconds, um, and it can withstand the heat, there's a good chance that you have a, a full color digital solution for them. In closing, we just want to review a few more additional things with you. You know, heat press to impress, heat print to impress. Arrive with samples displaying your customer's logo. Show them you care about it. Um, it immediately gives you an ed edge over your competition because there's nothing more than your customer would like than to see items with their logo on it for you. As you can see, Hillsdale Highlands. The letters are very crisp and clean. Um, it would be very difficult to embroider with the, the black outline around it. It may not be so legible. Um, and then some of the fine detail is hard to accomplish through screen printing as well. So this is just another alternative to some of the decorating solutions you have already and allows you to expand your business, go places that you may not be have gone before. In closing the sale, we want you to leave a lasting impression by preparing a professional quotation. Um, here you can see we have two quotations. With the digital um, logos and transfers, you can easily get a quote instantly. It's priced by the square inch and priced by the quantity. We would like you to be able to give your customer a, qu a quotation immediately after the presentation. Give them their pricing, you know, and always leave on your quote, you know, set up charges, no charge, because they really feel like they're getting something for nothing. Um, and then if you can attach a sample as well, kind of a virtual sample, so your customer knew exactly what they're getting. Um, here's another sample of a cap where we went right over the same with the digital decorating as well. So leave a lasting impression by preparing a professional quote and giving them an idea exactly what they can expect and see in full color. In closing, stay ahead of your competition. Present samples with your clients' logos. They'd be very impressed. Say yes to short runs. Let's not turn any business away. In this economy, we got to keep every, every business opportunity we have. Um, provide quotes on time instantly. With uh, full color digital transfers, you can easily get quotes instantly um, online. As you can see, too, the colors are extremely vibrant and brilliant, they're fine, crisp, and you got very clean logos, very easy to read, even fine details and, and different text. Uh, personalization, sequential numbering, very variable data is hassle-free. Um, it's very easy to add onto your orders. And again, with the um, full color digital decoration, delivery is fast. You can receive your transfers 24 hours, or your transfer ship, excuse me, 24 hours after your art approval. The beautiful thing with email is that you can get proof sent to you 
you can immediately turn around, send them to your customer, get an approval on it, and go back and, and go ahead and order your decorating method. Keep your business as a one-stop shop for all your customers' decorating needs. Hopefully this uh, webinar was helpful to you, gave you some new ideas. Um, we're going go to go back to Jody and see if we have any questions we can answer at this time, um, kind of to help you guys out with your digital decorating of the future. Jody? Hi, Mary. Tim had asked, uh, his question was, we are considering adding a DTG and wanted to know if there were any new developments coming with that, something more affordable, any type of new technologies that you knew of? You know, I don't know any um, new DT. I know there's a variety of them out there, and I must say I've been on the forums. There's DTG um, forums, T-shirt forums that you need to kind of keep up on. Um, some people are much more successful than other people with DTG, and you kind of do need to use a DTG machine on a regular basis so the heads don't get clogged. Um, and I'm at trade shows, and that I do speak to you know a lot of attendees and customers in the audience. Some are extremely happy with their DTG machines, and other people are quite frustrated with them and then are having to send them back to be repaired. Um, one lady I spoke to um, last year during a presentation um, in Nashville, she kind of stopped screen printing and only does DTG. So depending on what your business decorating needs are, if you can get, if you have a need to run a DTG and can do it, you know, seven days a week or even five days a week, that's really the way to go. And the beautiful thing is from my samples, you can see the beautiful full color you're able to print. But I know it's changed quite a bit over the ten, last 10 years. I'm sure moving forward it's going to continue to change quite a bit. Um, and I would just go to the forums and kind of feel out and see what other people who own them, you know, what their success rate has been. Thank you, Mary. And Shirley, our attendee, wanted to know how long you can keep, I believe it was a screen printed transfer. Um, the shelf on a screen printed transfer, uh, excuse me, on a screen printed transfer, as long as the room in which you're keeping them, you know, it's kind of airtight and you're not getting too much humidity or anything, I would think anywhere from six months to a year. I would probably package it in a Ziploc bag. Um, just to make sure that none of the outside elements, the temperature changing and your environment changing would affect it at all. And if you kept it in a Ziploc bag, you, you certainly can avoid some of those um, elements changing on the transfer. But transfers are great, especially if you have a customer that comes in, reorders all the time or wants to put your the screen printed transfer on different items, hats, caps, aprons. It's a great solution for some of those products. And yeah. Yes, we actually have two more questions. Um, for the sequential numbering where we saw the number 68 done in the, um, in the number effects, Yes. Shirley wanted to know more about that, about how, um, can you explain more about how you are able to sequentially number? Well, I'm going back to that screen. Was it here, this 68? Yes. Um, you easily just, uh, this is, you know, obviously through styles that we offered the pattern number effects, and this particular one is a football effect. You know, just um, let us kind of know if there's a, a range of numbers you're looking at or some particular numbers that they want that aren't necessarily in sequence. Tell us the numbers, pick your pattern effect, and we'll fill it you know, fill the numbers with that effect for you. Again, you can see some of these items right on screen as you pick it so you know exactly what you're getting and perhaps even be able to email it to your customer for their approval too. If there is not a pattern you're looking for and you have a pattern that you want us to fill a number with or, or sequential numbers with, if you, you know, upload that pattern to us, we can do that for you as well and customize it a little bit more. So we have a lot of capabilities to, you know, provide you the services your customers are asking for. If, if we don't have it, there's sometimes custom ways to do it. And if they wanted to produce full-color digital transfers in-house, where could they uh, purchase a machine? Um, it, at the end of this, you know, thank you for attending. You can email me and I can direct you to um, someone who uh, can provide you more information. Um, on a print cut technology type machine where you can do it in-house. 
I do recommend that you perhaps come to stalls first as a service, you know, to place your first few orders to get you more familiar with the product. You know, the beautiful things is using it for a service is you don't have, you know, the labor of learning all the software, keeping the machine up and running and clean, you know, some of the more production type headaches that you may have. If you order it from a service, we kind of take care of that all for you and just give you the product you need for heat application. And maybe sometimes after you get more familiar with it too as a service, um, it just helps you be more successful when you order the, the print cut technology. There's a few different versions out there of the different printers, cutters, and different software you need as well to send out to the printer cutters. But some people do it in house, but I must say, you know, many more people offer it or use it as a service in house. But that's your choice. But again, I've left my email for any information or comments or questions you may have, and I can direct you to the right, you know, experts to get you the information you need and the services you need. Anything else, Jody? That's it, Mary. Thank you so much for taking your time with us today. Um, it was a great presentation. We appreciate you um, coming. Well, again, thank you for attending. Please, if you have any questions or anything, I can help you with any additional information. Feel free to email me. And I also want to invite you to our next webinar, which is on February 16th at 2 p.m. It will be tracking the success of your marketing program, and the sales are in the details. I've given you down below a brief overview of what they'll be going over. Um, but it's coupons, discounting, loyalty programs, Q&R codes, and Google Analytics. So it's a lot of really good information for marketing your business and getting results, getting your return on your investment back. Um, so please, you know, sign up to attend that as well. And again, thank you all for attending. It was um, great to have you here today, and I, I appreciate the interaction of the questions. Thanks, Jody. I appreciate it as well. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you in upcoming webinars. Thank you.